In fact, I actually have a theory about uh, Classic WoW. So if you remember back to what, when Asmongold asked Ian, what are your plans? Patilin, how are you doing? What are your plans for, you know, Classic? So after Wrath, what are you gonna do? Ian made a couple of mentions there of things that they will leave it up to the community to decide, but it is something that they're looking at. Ian said, one of the options would be, would you like to see the story continue from there? Would you like new stories from Wrath? And I, my speculation brain started tingling like it does. And I thought, what if Blizzard is hedging their bets? So what if Blizzard is looking at the success of Classic and they're saying, okay, we have a chance with Dragonflight to save everything and get many people back and everyone's going to be happy. But what if we, what if we fail? What if Dragonflight does not deliver the experience that we were hoping for? It doesn't bring all those players back. What if the mistakes of the past, so the mistakes that we have made for such a long time over the course of many, many expansions, what if those mistakes end up costing us? Um, yes, please, I have shit, uh, so we can ignore BFA and Slant. Apocalypse, that's literally where my mind went. So after Dragonflight, let's imagine it is a failure. They launch the the next expansion because obviously they've already started working on that. But only this time around, that is their final sort of current retail expansion. Instead, they start focusing on the expansion that will follow Wrath, but will not be Cataclysm. So a brand new sort of storyline basically an alternative world of warcraft so it takes the story in a whole new direction retail is still there you can still play retail and the next expansion after dragonflight is still there but now you have this new version of world of warcraft going off in its own direction how would people feel about that kind of like a soft reboot if you will kick lol how you doing bro thanks for the first time chat really appreciate that welcome to the channel thank you thank you thank you would starting wow 2 be easier no because wow 2 would be the 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 risk of a wow 2 d does not out, out outweigh the rewards in this instance so let, let's think about this logically you have wow 2 that will undoubtedly bring some players back it might even bring new players in but wow 2 also risks losing a lot of players because a lot of players will lose their mounts lose their achievements lose all of their progress everything that they've done up until now will be lost as an as, as a result of wow 2 being announced so you you have this we may get new players with wow 2 but we're almost guaranteed to lose a lot of our current players so the risk is too high you, you're not guaranteed to bring new players into wow but you are guaranteed to lose players thanks to WoW 2. So it, it just becomes way too a risky move from a business perspective. From a cool perspective, yeah, would love it. And it would actually be easier. If we're purely talking about the ability to do it, then absolutely it makes life a lot easier. You basically scrap the whole system, learn from all of your mistakes and do a brand new game. But you don't, you don't know, you, you have no guarantee that that is actually going to work. Misha with puppies, thank you so much for Prime Top, really appreciate that. Five months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What sword? Uh, the sword, by the way, the jokes that they keep making about the sword suggest to me that they're going to do something with that sword and probably soon-ish. Um, that's why they don't want to tell us. Ian Azicostas made the exact same jokes whenever people asked him about old gods in BFA. Whenever someone would ask him, so BFA, old gods, Ian would go, there are no old gods in BFA. What old gods? I think I think they have some kind of plan, but they're not telling us. Uh, Kickhole, by the way, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, I just, I think you are, I, I think Blizzard might go down the road of an alternative WoW from Classic onwards. So more like a classic plus experience where they keep the experience very very similar to what it was in, cl in classic only adding on to it you know new stories new worlds new dungeons raids and stuff like that but it sticks to that that sort of core fantasy of what a classic play style would be um without the sort of mess that cataclysm created without the bloat of wallet of Draenor, without the borrowed power systems of legion shadowlands and bfa um you you have this long list of lessons that you've learned that you you can now look at and say right never do any of those things ever again 
I think it might also have something to do with the community researcher they hired who literally just went on Reddit. Um, Apocalypse, yeah, but this is what Blizzard does, right? We're listening and they may, they basically just needed to, like, Ian didn't need to form a community council. They didn't need a community council. All they had to do was read Reddit every day and maybe go on the forums once or twice a week. And the community council will have been completely unnecessary. Um, ironically, if they do the soft reboot with Classic, it would give them a chance to make a proper MSQ storyline. Truth. So fucking true. And I think there's a lot of people that want a similar sort of MSQ feel with World of Warcraft. Something like a main story quest line. I, I think a lot of people want that. Uh, Shmoofus, thank you so much for doing something. Really appreciate that. 10 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if not going on to Kata after Wrath, where would the story go in theory after Wrath of the Lich King? Well, you could, like, I mean, just based on what we already have, you know, you have all of the old god stories that can still be, be followed through with. You still have the Burning Legion. Their story can technically continue. You have so many individual stories on Azeroth that you could deal with. You have the giant story that was introduced in Wrath of the Lich King, you know, the ice giants. Um, you could take that story and create sort of a new story uh, from that with an expansion filled with ice giants and, and, and the like. You could do Dragonflight effectively, but in a, in a Wrath setting. Um, you could go literally right back to the... Um, sort of the Argent Dawn, the light, the, the, the light expansion, because that was also a very, very prominent introduction. Um, th so there's so much that you can do. Odin's storyline, the Titan storyline, um, you know, uh, we had all those Titans in Ulduar and in Storm Peaks that you could absolutely form an expansion around Titan Keepers and the, and the like. You have the Twilight Cultists that you could focus on. So there really is a lot of story hooks in Wrath that you could pull forward into a new expansion into more stories. Absolutely. Thanks so much.